This video is going to cover the new features of the version of GraphPad configurable that I just uploaded. And to begin with, I'm, I've modified the or enhanced the mapping feature. Now, when you first log in, if you haven't created any appointments, you'll just get a blank map with your current location. Um, if we select the appointments menu, we'll just see a blank, no appointments, and we can hit a plus sign, and then we can enter appointment. Now, since I've done this a couple of times, it's already going to capture the fact that I'm in Durham, North Carolina. Um, I can just put in a note, um, and I'll just say, new appointment. We'll put in the name of who I'm going to visit, John. This should actually show up on any forms along with any uh, phone number, but I need an address. And so I'm just going to put in an address that I'm familiar with. And this happens to be the Durham YMCA, the time of the appointment. And if I hit save, it's going to geocode it and add it to our map. Now, typically we can add multiple appointments onto a map, uh, which would, you know, various appointments during the day. If we have an appointment and we select it, it'll actually pop up and it'll actually have the note, the time that we're actually going to arrive, and then we can bring up the information. Um, from here, I've got a button that will give me turn-by-turn -turn directions, and so now I can actually travel from my current location to that particular appointment. I'm going back up again. There's actually a number of different ways we can add an appointment. So if we go back to our main screen and we hit plus sign, if we're at a location where we want to create an appointment, we can just say um, get current location. It will actually populate the address and the uh, latitude and longitude, which will then put it on the map. I'm not going to do that because I'm sitting at home and I'm not particularly happy about think it's a good idea to tell people exactly where I live. But another way we can actually enter those is say, for example, we have a particular location on the map that we want to go to. Um, say we want to go over to this, um, here we go, scrap exchange. We, we press on the map. After two seconds, it'll actually pop up. It'll geocode the location on the map. And now all we have to do is put in the name, who we're going to meet there, say John again, the time of the appointment, and we'll just go ahead and move that up to 2 o'clock and hit save. And now it'll now it'll add that to the number of appointments um, for that particular day. right? So we can actually select today, tomorrow, we won't have any appointments. Or we can show all appointments if, for example, we wanted to plot a series of, of appointments that we had on a longer trip. If we go to appointments, um, say for example we wanted to get rid of an appointment, we don't want it to appear on a map, we just hit delete. It'll refresh the map and we'll just get... Um, the remaining appointments. And that really covers the appointment feature. There is one other thing that I'm working on, however, and that's the ability to email an appointment to another person running GraphPad. It'll actually bring that up as an appointment so you can actually share locations and you don't have to like, you know, specify an address. And this is going to be particularly useful for new subdivisions where there's just the location is specified through either touching the map or by um, being at the location, say for example a new house that you're going to inspect in a new subdivision and hitting the get current location um, and then sending them that location and they can just map it. So that really covers the mapping feature. Now the second feature is sectional reports. And what I've noticed from becoming a home inspector is, is that um, they don't really need a report with a drawing. Now everything's done vis-a-vis -vis pictures. And so I've added these sectional reports, but by default, it's actually turned off. And that's because this is a, a feature which is in development and I want to work with people on. However, it's not really ready for just general consumption. And it's not really set up for people to actually configure themselves. So if people are interested in that and they're home inspectors, I'm actually working on a home inspector setup. And what I can do is I can send that to you. It'll come in as a configuration file. And you'll notice when I configure it, it'll actually show these sectional reports and we'll now have the features associated with a home inspection. And so you'll also have a new home inspection form that allow you to um, change this image. So for example, if we had a different picture we wanted to use, we can change the cover image. Uh, I have a picture of a tree, I suppose. Okay. And this is still under development, but this is actually going to be your signature page. If we go to the second page, we can now go to the sectional reports and say we're going to do the exterior. It'll drop all the mandatory features of an exterior uh, uh, inspection into GraphPad. 
and you can actually use this the way I showed in another uh, demonstration. So for example, we can have, uh, we go into text mode, we'll have list boxes set up for materials for each one of these fields. So I can say stucco for condition, it might be um, good, fair, needs attention, etc. Um, and we can work through these various different things and close this out and hit return. But we are also can say, for example, we've taken a picture, we can add this to this particular table. So again, I'll take another picture of, I don't know, pictures from our snow day here in North Carolina. I'll use that picture and then I can select the text. I'm really emphasizing using um, dragon text or dragon speech to actually do this. And you'll notice it's still not all that great but it's it's a work in progress so eventually this will probably be a very good way of actually capturing data um, within graphpad so we can see the text there um, we would then be able to just email this to another colleague um, and just send it on out and those are the two big features. One feature, like I mentioned, is really only going to be for folks that contact me and want to work with me on this new sectional reports capability. Um, but the mapping feature is for everybody who's currently using GraphPad, the configurable version. And that's my presentation, and I hope everybody enjoys this. Thank you.